Hi friends, uh, my name is Maggie Beth. I am back with another thrift haul. I'm a full time reseller on the Poshmark app. And today I'm coming to you with some beautiful sweaters because fall is upon us. Um, and I thrifted these sweaters. I'm going to give them a new life and a new home by selling them on Poshmark and I'm really excited about it. Um, I think um, right now is definitely the time to be picking up sweaters, coats, jeans and um, boots um, and so that's what I'm doing and so let's I think this is just like about a dozen dozen <laughs> I think this is about a dozen sweaters that I uh, wanted to just show y'all what I'm listing this week so let's get into it the first one is a gorgeous Eileen Fisher Fisher marled knit cow neck turtleneck um, it is a size extra large and it's you know got that marking on it from the thrift store I tried to get it out but some of these tags it's more difficult but this black and white marled knit I think is just gorgeous um, I listened to how I built this with Eileen Fisher recently and it was just such an amazing thing to listen to I highly recommend it if you don't listen to that podcast and you are an entrepreneur or own your own business, definitely go download it right now and listen to the Eileen Fisher um, one. She's just so zen and so cool and just so, such an amazing um, person really. And so I'm just, I love her brand. This is the newer tag and this little kind of cotton uh, skinny one. The black one that's square is the older tag and I would recommend not picking it up unless it's a particularly remarkable piece. Um, this is one by Anthropology. I actually remember seeing this in their catalog. I mean Anthropology's catalog is legendary, iconic, um, but it's just so gorgeous um, but this is one that was in there a while ago and I think it's still gonna do well the tag is featuring the work of Starlet M Hoffman and I don't know who that is but um, I do like this sweater a lot it is a size large I'll show you all the tag see is that interesting um, it was probably just a collaboration at one point but really pretty um, just that hummingbird on the front that's kind of in this, um, I think like felt wool, like in or something. I don't know. It's really, really unique, really cute. Okay, and then this is Theory, um, which is a great mainly workwear brand, um, more professional um, anyway. And that is their new tag there. Uh, their older tag has a serif print on it and it's all lowercase and then their new one is more kind of minimalistic has the uppercase t and a sans serif font and so this is a size medium just a really um, high quality uh, v-neck longer pullover sweater um, the contents of this are 97% wool, 3% spandex, so that's pretty rare unless you are paying up. And Beery is definitely one of those brands that retails for higher um, than most. Moving on, this is Madewell, and I think Madewell sweaters do so well. Um, so I would definitely recommend if they're in good quality and a uh, recent season, um, picking it up. This is kind of a really cute mock neck sweater, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the color in here, but it's one of those colors that's really hard to capture on camera, but it's kind of like this navy blue and light blue marled color, um, and it's just really gorgeous. It's got a high-low um, hem there, which just means that the front is higher, uh, is, is higher and the back is lower, uh, and it's just really cute, really good classic got that drop shoulder which I think is a cute design detail I could not find this to save my life on uh, Google I could not find the style name I could not find stock photos or anything um, not I'm modeling most of my clothes now but I still can find this and it, but it is I think anthropology uh, Sunday in Brooklyn if you're familiar this is their newer tag it's a size medium and it's such a gorgeous sweater it's this really soft 
fuzzy open front cardigan with this black and red floral design along the front and along on the shoulder on the shoulders or on the arm as well and then isn't that so cute and it's an impeccable condition y'all so i had to pick it up even though i was in this thrift store searching forever for the style and the style name and the photos for it but oh well i'll still list it it's super cute um if y'all are so inclined and want to do a little research for me let me know uh, what this sweater's name is um okay so this is a brand i don't really know that much more much about except for that resellers love this brand barefoot dreams and uh, this is a size small slash medium and the other thing i know about this brand is that it is incredibly soft like wearing the softest blanket you've ever felt so you know i imagine that is why i think it's made from bamboo maybe that's why it's so soft but yeah this is just a waterfall cardigan and waterfall just means that it kind of like and the front is really long like along the open front and then kind of goes into a more normal um length but this front part is much longer open front waterfall cardigan striped super soft um was super excited to find this at a reasonable price because my thrift stores love to mark that brand up to infinity um this is a brand I'm being more selective with, but some of their pieces I still think are so cute. Um, this is Bowden. And it is a size 6, US 6. And it's just a really cool like jacket style open front cardigan um, with no closures whatsoever. Just um, a really cool kind of stand-up collar there and just a really well-constructed piece. I think it's missing the belt because you can see belt loops, but um, I still thought I'd pick it up because I think it's really cute. Um, okay, and then another Madewell medium. This is actually, I think, a sweater dress. Ah, has a high-low hem again but super cute, perfect for fall. Um, love the color, love everything about this one. Super cute and just a really great layering piece. How I would wear it is um, with a turtleneck underneath or a um, printed uh, button down and then a belt at the cinch the waist and then some really cute boots. And I think that'd be so cute and such a easy but like very stylized look. Okay, next one is this Akemi and Kin for Anthropology. This is their newer tag because it says Anthropology on the top there. Um, size medium. It is a long open front cardigan once again, but more of a duster style because it is so long and it's got um, this navy and metallic kind of gold bronze marled knit um and then just some really cool kind of like details over the front this like open crochet detail and yeah i think you know this is something that is super easy and warm to throw on and um, a really just cute warm cozy piece i got this my wool cardigan on today because my office is freezing cold. Um, <laughs> it's my neighbor's fault. Okay, so next up is a high-end designer helmet laying, and I will probably try to sell this on Poshmark, but if it doesn't sell, you know, relatively soon, I'll probably send it into the real reel or thread up. Um, it's a hooded pullover sweater with these. Um, Eyes at the bottom with this, this little metal thingy bobs. <laughs> I don't know the word for it, um, but it's, those are on um, both the body, the body of the sweater, the bottom of the sweater, and on the sleeves. And it's just a really soft, 
Like that would be so comfy and it's more of kind of like a baggy style, right? But um, I think it's super cute and comfy and let me look at the contents, Tyrio contents. It's cotton and cashmere. So, um, you know, just a sweater, hoodie sweater that is cashmere. <laughs> And just really cute, really soft, and really comfy. Okay, next up is Free People. I think y'all know what this looks like, but there's the tag. And it is, oh. It is an extra small. Super cute. I'm contemplating keeping this sweater, honestly. Um, it's just this really dainty, I love the collar, I love this, I don't even know what kind of collar this is, but it's just really, it's a wide kind of scoop neck collar with this um, little flouncy ruffle detail. And then the um, uh, uh, wrists are gathered with this also kind of ruffle at the end. The reason I really love it is this ribbed bottom allows you to wear it with um, high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirts really easily and it kind of cinches you at the waist and kind of billows out at the top. It's really flattering. Um, I was trying it on when I was modeling some bottoms and it paired well with so many things. I was like, oh, maybe I should keep this, but if I don't, um, it's I think definitely gonna do well. Love this one. Okay, next up is a piece I really picked up for style more than brand, but I love having um, turtlenecks, sweater turtlenecks in my store during the fall time because those are the two kind of types of sweaters that I think do well is turtlenecks and cardigans. Um, pullover sweaters, you know, depend a lot on the brand and the style, but turtlenecks and cardigans are two things that I'm always on the lookout for and I think other people are as well especially when they're chunky. Um, and this is that. So um, this is Banana Republic, and then it says uh, made of Italian yarn on the bottom. I never pick up Banana Republic, but I thought with this piece, it would be worth it. It's a size small, as y'all saw. And it's just a really chunky, um, chunky knit turtleneck sweater. It's just gray, super, Simple, but just really well constructed. A really solid piece for fall. This is a J. Crew sweater, and I check comps on this one because with J. Crew sweaters, you know, it's hard for me to gauge how well they're gonna do. Even though I can check to see what season they're from um, on the materials tag, it'll say on there. And, um, but I still checked and comps look good on this one. I went ahead and picked it up. I think white sweaters kind of typically do well, especially when they're in uh, good condition. And this was a winter 2017. Let's see if I can even get that. When it says HO, that means it is winter. So winter's 2017 and you can also see the style name on top of there as well. This is a mock neck white sweater that's really long and it's got this really cute um, kind of double layered look. I don't know if y'all can see that but the front is, this is actually the front and it's got this kind of double layer. So uh, definitely a really solid staple piece for fall, something that I really that was cute, so I went ahead and picked it up, especially the mock necks. I think mock necks are really flattering and really uh, a great trend for fall and winter. So um, if it has a mock neck, it has a thumbs up in my book. All right, last piece is this Free People. I don't even know what this kind of um, knit would be called. This is a size small, but it's kind of like a more open knit and it's got this like interesting, here I'll see if I can show y'all here. You see that interesting um, texture to it? Super cute, it's a V-neck, um, kind of longer, oversized look. As so many free people, it's an oversized look, that's why people like literally size down two sizes and free people. 
but I actually like the oversized look a lot. But I actually like the oversized style a lot from the free people. But yeah, this is a um, kind of maroon, I guess it's maybe like a bubble knit. I don't actually know, but super cute um, v-neck front and just a little bit longer and oversized, but love this piece. Okay, so that is it for the thrift haul um, of sweaters that I am about to list in my Poshmark closet this week. Um, I am still, you know, picking up everything at the thrift store, but definitely focusing more on sweaters, coats, jeans, and boots. Um, and I'm just really excited to get these up and listed. Let me know in the comments down below, as always, what your favorite piece was. I think my favorite piece is probably the one I'm gonna keep, maybe. Maybe <laughs> that free people one. I just really love it. You know, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up bell. Um, I'm just so happy that you're here and I can't wait to um, post more videos in the future. So I will talk to y'all later. Love y'all so much. Bye.